happy Thursday and welcome to The Ellen Show. Today we have a very special guest who just happens to be one of the best and most quoted authors of all time. Please welcome Charles Dickens. Yay! Woo! It's such a pleasure to be here. This is my very first talk show. Well, we're really glad you're here. Let's start off by talking about your past. What was your childhood like? I was born in Portsmouth, England in 1812. As the second of eight children in a very poor family, I lived a difficult childhood. Eventually, my father was sent to debtor's prison, and I went to work at the age of 12 to pay off the family's debts. What did you do before you started writing? I was highly interested in plays during my young adult age. While starring in a play by Wilkie Collins titled Frozen Deep, I fell in love with a young actress named Ellen Turner. My 23-year marriage to Katherine Hogarth had become a source of unhappiness. How did your past in plays affect and influence your writing? My participation in Collins' play inspired me to write A Tale of Two Cities. In the play, I played the part of a man who sacrifices his own life so that my rival may have the woman we both love. The love triangle in the play became the basis for the complex relationship between Charles Darnay, Lucy Manette, and Sidney Carton in the Delta Cities. It's crazy how something you were once interested in contributed to one of the best-selling books to date. Now tell us a little about the book. The whole idea behind this book is the theme of resurrection and sacrifice. In the end, Charles Darnay and Sidney Carton switched places at the guillotine where Darnay was about to lose his life. Carton stepped in and died for it. Not to mention, they looked extremely similar, so the guillotine operators never even knew switched. switch. Carton died for Darnay so that Darnay's name could live on for Lucy and the son Lucy and Darnay had together. Carton was a huge symbol of resurrection for the fact that he died, but still lived through the life of Darnay. What feeling were you trying to convey when writing this book? When I was writing A Tale of Two Cities, I was trying to create a feeling of sympathy while making the audience feel horrid and gruesome. If any of you in the audience haven't read this book before, you're all going home with a copy signed by the author himself. Yay! Charles Dickens, we really appreciate you being here today. Thank you, Ellen. This was such an honor, and I hope you all enjoy my novel. Bye, everyone. Have a good day, and remember to be kind to everyone.